Hey, where do you think I am right now? We've done the production vlogs. You know your ADHD is on the boat on its way. But did it arrive? Yes, it did, because we are now at the fulfillment center in the Netherlands, which ships within the European Union, some of the international countries. And we thought, you know what, we should show you also what the process looks like on the front end side of things, because there's a lot more happening at the warehouse side and all the fulfillment than you might think. So how about we bring you on this process together with our fulfillment partner Monta and show you what happens when the goods arrive at the warehouse all the way up until it ships out to you. And let's start with the inbound, which is the long storage pallets coming in to the warehouse. Let's go. And this is the loading dock. This is where a truck comes in, parks it backwards, opens up their container, and now we can take stuff out of the container into the loading area. And this is a transition period between getting the pallets in and then getting it into either long storage or maybe, if it's very urgent, get it straight into a pick and pack area. But this is where all the inbound happens. So after the inbound, it goes to the long storage usually. So let's go take a look over there. So here we are at what we call the long storage area. This is where it comes into after the loading dock. It also kind of depends on what kind of goods are needed for the pick and packing. But any of the goods that is excess can be stored in bulk for a long time in this area. That's why you see a lot of pallets around here and they're going stacking all the way into the height. So of course nobody's going to come in here and start grabbing an individual item. That would be not so smart. The purpose here is to store goods for a longer time and then when the pick and pack area we're going to get to later is empty, they can replenish it from the long storage. Sometimes that means bringing the whole pallet to the other side, other times it means breaking a pallet in half and bringing it to the other side and putting it back in. But this is where it's stored for a longer time in bulk. Anyway, let's get moving to the next part, picking and packing boxes. So here we are at the pick and pack area. This is where all the products are stored as well, but they're stored on individual unit level. So it's much easier to pick them out, put them in the box and then eventually pack them for order. Let's start picking and packing our first order together. And this is where it begins. I got a big crate. Inside this crate is a blue bin. And when I scan that blue bin with my scanner, it tells me where to go. It told me to go right over here to get some L45 switches. I needed 27. I cheated a little bit. I scan it. I put it in. I got 27 of them. And now it's telling me, hey, you need to go to the next location. We have the Gateron Jade switches. So I can pick up this one. It's telling me I just need one, thankfully. Done. And now it's telling me to go to the next location. And that next location, I'm just gonna do as if it's somewhere else so I can exit the frame and we can go to the next step. So here we are at the next station, which is the e check wall. And this is pretty interesting. So we have everything in the crate and the bins, and then it now can be sorted on a per order basis. And the way we do that is by simply taking the scanner, grabbing a product, we don't care which one it is, scan the product, and then on this wall, one of the lights will turn on blue and I just need to put the product in that section, press the button to confirm that I put it in and then just scan the next one. I don't need to think, I don't need to double check. I just scan and follow the light and confirm and then do the next one. What is nice now for the other side is all items are sorted per order. Now they just need to scan the label, grab the products and start doing the packing. So let's start doing that with Mr. E9. So now I'm on the other side of the wall. This is the E9 that we're gonna start packing. I have to scan the barcode over here. Then I can press the green button of having grabbed all the things. I'm gonna bring it to the station. All right, so I got my products here. On the screen, we can see the products I'm supposed to have. These are these. We're gonna scan those in a moment. Then it's also telling me which box I could use. Then we have that I need to fill up with recycled material most likely and which shipper is gonna ship with. So let's just start with the, with the box, preparing the box before we start scanning the items and putting it into the box. So here I have the box. Let's do some editing magic. Wow. All right. So I have the box here. I can scan. It tells me this is correct. And I can scan the next one. It tells me also it's correct. And now I need to still fill in all this 
empty space, otherwise stuff will start going all around the box, which is not great. So I have here recycled paper, which I can put in. There we go. And then a little bit more editing magic because we're gonna close up the box now. Satanic black and magic. Then we can go over to the final part, which is scanning which box I used. We have a barcode over here. This is the long one. And then it finally gives me a shipping label. There we go, here it comes. And... <laughs> I ruined the shipping label. Oh, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to put a button in. Uh, you have to go back. I'm glad. It's success. IT, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to put a button in. Now I have a new label. I just learned I can actually take the sticker off straight away. There we go. And this order is for Alex S. So congratulations. I'm very happy to send you the ATHE in Germany. And that is it. Now it goes to a pallet, ready for the shipper to pick it up, which is the next location we're going to take a look. Yeah. Here we are at the outbound. So after all the pick and packing, it goes onto a pallet. You can see it's seal wrapped over here where it's ready to be picked up by the courier. Now we already had UPS come by. These are all for FedEx. They still need to come by. And once FedEx picks it up, it goes into the truck to the distribution center. And at the distribution center, they're gonna scan it. And that's when you see the tracking number. And that's where you can start your journey following the tracking number until your front door. That's everything that happens at the film center. I hope you enjoyed and definitely enjoy your Wooting ATHE. Bye-bye. We're still saying goodbye, yes? This is still the outro. I have just nothing to say anymore, so just enjoy, yeah? Okay, I'll see you, bye.